I am so stoked to show you all this right here. When I was a kid, I used to tell all my friends I wanted a red F-150. And here she is. I mean, she ain't nothing new, she's a 2012, but absolutely beautiful. And the best part is the feeling of accomplishment that I have now, that I'm able to do this. You know, I left Bama so that I could be an adult. And here I am doing adult things like <laughs> financing my own truck. And I'm just so damn proud. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the truck. You know, I'm able to work for this. And I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And I'm just proud. So before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to Skillshare, who I'm fortunate enough to be partnering with for this video. Skillshare, though, is a platform that offers online classes for creative people. Before you start grunting about this being an advertised video, I really want to show you guys what Skillshare is about because it's really cool and I was really impressed by it when I went on the website and signed up for my free trial. So after I sign up for my membership, it's going to give me a bunch of different categories with a bunch of different classes. And so I'm interested in writing. I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me a bunch of classes that are out there. And I just go through, I save the ones that sound most interesting to me. And the great thing about Skillshare is there's more than 15,000 classes in design, photo, writing, etc. Then after you save your classes, they're going to be listed there for you, along with recommended classes. And here's an example of one of the classes. They give you a video playlist. You can do projects. Everyone can take a class, do projects, and even teach a class, which is really cool about Skillshare. You can teach your own class. Memberships are around 10 bucks a month for unlimited access, but I'm going to be giving you guys two months free. Make sure y'all go try out Skillshare. There's nothing really stopping you. Uh, you get a free trial, and I'll link that in the description box below. Go try it out. What is up y'all? Thank you so much for checking in with me and B. A little later, I think we're gonna be going and getting some uh some wood from the hardware store. Cause I want to I want to make another sign for obviously if you guys have seen my videos, my <laughs> that USA sign is, is completely broken now, so I wanna go make another sign. To have him in the background of my, my sit down videos. I haven't done a woodworking project in a, in a good bit. I used to do them a lot when I was back in Bama. I, I built a shit ton of stuff. Um, and whenever I'd come home, I'd build my parents stuff. When I actually move in with the Alistair, our plan is for me to build maybe like four or five pieces for our house. But you know, it's going to be a good few projects for me. I'm, I'm really excited about it because I'm ready to get back into woodworking. Can I get a, a large vanilla Dr. Pepper? And that's it. A large vanilla Dr. Pepper? Yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead and pull on. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dude. What's Daisy doing? What's Daisy doing? I got somebody. Hey, baby. Hey, gorgeous. Look. I got Daisy in the truck with me. How's it going, Daisy? <laughs> Broughton, this was a really bad idea, by the way. Do you have Daisy and Broughton? Yes. It was a very, very bad idea. She's freaking out in the back. She's probably shedding all over my brand new seats. Shedding or shedding? Shedding. Hey, I've got a question. And, uh, don't, don't feel bad about this. You know, it's... Okay. Um, do you feel emasculated by the fact that you're going to be following me around? Emasculated? Yeah. Like. Um. Because I was thinking today, I was thinking like, if I was in your situation and I'd follow you around, like you're in the army or like whatever job. Um could feel a little emasculated. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if I'm being honest, yeah. I think, I think a little bit, yeah. It does bother me sometimes, just because, like, that's an, that's an army wife position, and, I mean, I'm pretty much gonna be your army wife, and so, 
Yeah, that's that's kind of emasculating sometimes. Um, but baby, you're you're my man, and you're the person I lean on, and I need you to understand that. That, that, that like, although you may feel emasculated about this, like you, sh- you shouldn't feel that way because you're my man, and also because like while I'm taking care of things on my end, you know I'm getting out in eight years, and I need you to be able to. Like, build a life for us beyond that yeah i mean i i get it like i mean okay so yeah being honest it is a little bit emasculating but at the same time like i love you enough that i'll follow you around no problem no questions asked because i know at the end of those eight years you're you know you're gonna probably have to bend to whatever i'm i'm wanting to do it's not really something i've thought about though i haven't ever thought specifically like I feel emasculated by this. I'm most looking forward to seeing you walk around with your butt hanging out naked all the time. Because we're gonna have a no clothes rule in our house. <laughs> Are you okay with that? Are you sure about that, baby? Yes. I'm gonna go get some wood, I'm gonna start that project, and then Settle down for the rest of the day. What time am I going to be talking to you later? Um, maybe, uh, five? My time, which is for your time. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Love you. straight edges in Texas so we got all that that's the most important part we just got to keep that straight and then as you come over here they can be a little bit more staggered because it's gonna stagger down and so basically at the end we're gonna have this big pile of wood that doesn't really seem like an outline but when we actually outline it out because we have our straight edges already we're just gonna outline it out in pencil and it should come out all right I've actually done this project before. Me and my buddy Clayton did it. And it was made out of a lot thicker wood. It was a lot harder to cut. It was a lot harder to outline. And it was just massive. This one ain't going to be as big. All right, y'all. So I guess I'm just going to have to finish the project tomorrow. Because baby boy needs me. And it is date night. So I'm going to go be with him. And the big reveal for the final product will be during my next sit down video. Hopefully I'll have it hung up by then. I don't know. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to go check out Skillshare and have a great day.